Hey guys, this is Mike, the Detroit Borg, and today we're checking out the new Nest Hello video doorbell. We've seen video doorbells for a few years now, but this is one of the first that records video 24-7, not just when you press the button or if somebody walks by the sensor. So as regular viewers will know, my house is fully outfitted with Nest's entire suite of products, and this is one piece of the home security puzzle that I've been pretty eager to get. This means that all of my home security cameras and devices are now unified under one app and everything works seamlessly together. So I want to thank Nest for hooking me up with the Nest Hello and for sponsoring this video. And to complete the high-tech upgrade of my front door, we also have the Nest Smart Lock by Yale. This is also designed to work within the Nest app so I can remotely lock or unlock the front door from my phone, assign a temporary passcode to a guest, or disable my Nest Secure alarm system every time I enter my passcode to unlock the front door. It's a really slick system that I think looks perfect next to the Nest Hello. So getting to the unboxing, the Nest Hello is packaged like many other Nest products. We are given most of the tools and components we need to install it ourselves, but you can also contact Nest for a professional installation. So this is actually powered by the low voltage wires that power most existing doorbells. You just need to make sure that your wired system is compatible with the Nest Hello. In my case, my 30 year old home had the necessary 16 volt transformer, so installation was very straightforward. Nest has an excellent video explaining the step-by-step -step installation, which I'll leave linked in the video description. Now the Nest Hello hardware itself is remarkably narrow and compact and should easily fit in most existing doorbell locations. I was actually able to use the screw holes from my original doorbell without making new ones. The paperwork is very simple with a three-step guide along with a parts inventory. We also get a window sticker to announce the presence of the camera, which should act as a deterrent. The bottom of the box is reserved for the accessories for installation, the largest of which is the chime connector, which is installed in your existing door chime hardware. Now for me, this was very easy to install, and it's there to ensure that the Nest Hello receives constant power, which could be momentarily interrupted when the doorbell rings. So the parts box includes all of the parts you need for installation. That includes a Nest branded drill bit for masonry and wall anchors along with a set of screws for the mounting bracket. We also get a set of cable extenders if the existing wires at your doorbell location are too short for installation. Also included is a release tool which basically looks like a SIM tool which allows you to remove the Nest Hello from the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket is also very slickly designed and requires only two screws for installation. The doorbell actually snaps in place top side first and locks in at the bottom with a latch. I'm also using the included angle bracket for my installation since my doorbell is in a fairly tight corner. This can be reversed for left or right side and smartly they've included some adhesive strips to keep the brackets together for easier installation. The design here is pretty familiar for Nest products with a white bezel surrounding a durable black glass faceplate which is rounded off at the edges for a very smooth and clean look. At the top is a wide-angled HD camera and at the bottom is a concave doorbell button surrounded by a glowing LED ring. Now just above the camera is a small LED indicator which you can disable if you want but the light indicates when the camera is recording video and blinks when somebody is actively watching the live video feed. Now right in the middle of the doorbell is a row of infrared LEDs which light up automatically when the camera needs to activate night vision. The loudspeaker for two-way communication is discreetly hidden along the bottom edge. So the speaker is loud and clear enough for two-way communication. So you should be able to talk to anybody standing at the door. Since Nest Hello is replacing my old first-generation Ring video doorbell, the first thing I noticed right away is how clear the video quality is in comparison. One of the things that the Nest camera does especially well is HDR processing, which ensures that sunlight or any backlighting doesn't blow out the view of the camera so you can see everything clearly even when the sun or spotlights are shining directly at the camera. Now unlike most 16x9 security cameras, the wide angle 4x3 camera is able to cover the vertical view as well as the horizontal view. This is especially important on the porch because you need to see what's laying on the porch in addition to the people that are standing at the door. And because this is a smart doorbell, you can use your smartphone for notifications and just bypass the doorbell entirely. You can even configure any Google Home speaker to act as a doorbell. And if you want to take advantage of the Nest ecosystem, the Nest Cam IQ is also a Google Assistant speaker, which can also serve doorbell duty. Someone's at the front door. Another really clever feature of the Nest Hello are quick responses. So I imagine these will change over time, but let's take a quick listen to some of them. Hi there, you can just leave it. Thanks, just a sec. 
We'll be right there. Hi there. No one can answer the door right now. We'll be notified you stopped by. Another awesome feature of the Nest Hello is quiet time. This allows you to mute the doorbell in your house, something I've always wanted to do. This is especially important for new parents, so if you have a sleeping child, you don't want to wake them with the doorbell, or if you're a YouTuber and don't want to interrupt your audio recording, or if you're in the middle of a meeting, you don't want your dogs to go nuts when the doorbell rings. Now, I think the most important aspect of a smart security camera like the Nest Hello is that it delivers notifications that are much more informative. So it becomes pretty easy to ignore a security camera that constantly gives you these nondescript notifications. That's not the case with the Nest Hello. So with the Nest Hello, it can determine whether there's a person standing at the door, whether a dog is barking at the door. It can even recognize faces, whether they're familiar or unfamiliar. And if it's a familiar face, you can actually name that person and you'll get notifications telling you when that person has arrived at the door. Mike is at the front door. Notifications from the Nest Hello can also include short animated GIFs or images. So this is a quick way for me to identify if the person standing at the door is the delivery man dropping off a package or if somebody's ringing the doorbell and waiting for me to answer. So as soon as I bring up the front door camera, you can see a live video feed. So obviously not a whole lot is going on out there right now. It's also nighttime. You can see how clear the image is. Right now, a car is driving by. So if I want to take a look at previous events, all I have to do is scrub up and down like so. And you can see the time lapse effect, which is always really impressive. Or as you can see, I have these little thumbnails right next to the timeline. So this allows me to directly tap on that event to check out the event to see what happened. So for example, I see a person coming up to the front door. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that and play back that event. So as you can see, it's just me bringing my dogs back in from the outdoors. Now, if there's a specific video clip I wanna retain, all I have to do is click new clip here. And this allows me to add that clip to my library. So now I can save it to camera roll or share the file. Now along the side, you can see these multicolored indicators. So the uh, orange and green indicators are the two zones I've specified to monitor for activity. So I have a zone for the porch and a zone for the street, which is something you can customize under the nest.com website. So this allows me to monitor activity depending on whether it's from the street or on the front porch. Now, if you just want to sort through the events, you can go to a different view. This allows me to see whether I have a sound event or if I have motion on my porch or in the street or if it recognizes a familiar face or an unfamiliar face. And all of that will be broken down here. It also tells me the duration of the event and the time of day it happened. So, for example, this event tells me that a person was on the street or porch. This one tells me that there was motion in the street, so you can see a car or a person walking by. Of course, you can zoom in and out to take a closer look at the event, and with so much resolution to work with, you get some good detail. You can also do this with previously recorded footage, so again, I can pinch in and out to zoom in, so I can take a look at my dogs walking in here, tap the thumbnail to zoom back out. Works pretty seamlessly. We also have this blue dot next to the people icon indicating that the camera has spotted some new faces it doesn't recognize. So getting back to the Yale lock, basically this just replaced the deadbolt on my existing door installation. So it was actually very easy to install and set up. I even found a color that matched my existing hardware. Now some of my favorite aspects of this is the fact that it's entirely keyless. So when I exit the house, all I have to do is tap one of the buttons on the front to lock the door. I can also configure this to automatically lock, so I don't have to worry about accidentally leaving the door unlocked. I can also receive notifications every time my door is locked or unlocked. It can tell me who unlocked it, how they unlocked it, and of course I can use the video doorbell to verify who that was at the door. Now the footage recorded by the cameras are streamed and stored online through the Nest servers, and in order to access that footage, you'll have to subscribe to the Nest Aware service. But because the footage is stored online, you have access to that footage from a variety of platforms, from Android, iOS, or even a web browser, which is kind of handy. That means you can go to basically any internet connected device and have access to your security cameras and the footage that it generates. So even if the Nest Hello isn't the first to come out with a video doorbell, I have to say it's probably the best out there. It really combines the benefits of a full 24-hour security camera and the Nest ecosystem. And we also get some of the best video quality you're going to find on the video doorbell with high dynamic range and HD quality. And as always, Nest makes it really simple to install and use. Now, if you want to check out pricing and availability of these devices, I'll leave them linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in my next video.